Hi guys, my name is Julia. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first of many thrift flips. I'm going to be turning this into this. I thrifted this, but you can use whatever fabric you want or something that you already own. Like I said, you don't need to buy anything, but here's my little mini thrift vlog from Hayden Ashbury. I found this Burberry shirt from 2nd Street on Hate, and it was probably a tax considering there's a high chance that it's like, you know, not real. But anyways, this is the only video I was able to get in it, and it's really terribly unesthetic, so I'm sorry about it. Yikes. Um, anyways, to start the process, I seam ripped everything so that I could lay it flat and see how much fabric I had to work with. And then I started to draft a pattern because I didn't want to use an existing pattern from a shirt that I already own. This is a very rough draft of how the pieces would be cut out of the fabric. But this pattern that has the measurements, keep in mind that it is more of an extra small because it's fit to my specific measurements and how I like it to fit. But the pattern is just a general idea of what the shape looks like so you can adjust it to your own measurements. The next step is to cut the pattern out. I'm going to be cutting five pieces of the Burberry fabric and five of the same pieces from a lining fabric. For my lining fabric, I'm going to be using some tote bag excess that I have on hand. This part's kind of complicated to explain. I'm glad there's some visual, but you're going to pin each of the fabrics together. So all of the face fabric pieces and all of the lining pieces, so you'll have two identical I seriously couldn't think of a word to describe that, but, oh, well, maybe panels. Yeah, the panels. Anyways, the next part of the process was creating the straps, and I decided to use the neckline of the original shirt so I didn't have to cut new straps because those are kind of tedious and I didn't want to do that. Once both of the panels are sewn together, I face the two right side in and align the straps on the top and on the sides. Then I sewed the top and bottom seams only you leave the side seams open so that you can flip it inside out, which is pictured here. This is what it looks like flipped inside out. And for the side seams, we're going to fold each side in about one inch and close the open ends. I made sure to keep the seam pretty close to the edge because we are going to be adding the eyelets. Manually inserting all of the eyelets is probably one of my least favorite parts, but it just makes the finished product look so much cleaner and so much nicer. Yeah, as you can see, I struggled a lot with this one because <laughs> there was like four layers of fabric. Once the eyelets were done, all I had to do was figure out the placing of the Burberry tag, and I had a lot of excess fabric that I used for the accessories like the neck piece and the scrunchie that was seen in the intro. But other than that, um... The shirt is basically done. I'm pretty happy with the results. I think it's hella cute. And if you try it out for yourself, please tag me. My socials are in the description and on my YouTube profile. Please like, subscribe, follow. I'll be posting more sewing soon. Uh, thank you for watching.